Hello, good morning everyone. My name is uh, Lisa and I'm the sales manager of partnerships from Hong Kong. I'm going to be presenting today with Charles, who's a partnership consultant here in Belgium. So this is today's agenda. Uh, first of all, we'll talk about the Odoo partnership um, program model, uh, as well as the business opportunity for the partners. Um, how, to, how you become a partner, and then also we will discuss uh, not 10 but 5 common mistakes by, uh, by partners. So let's dive right in um, and let's discuss the business model of the OU partnership. So what you see here, the partner is in the middle. Uh, that's very important to understand because we are really uh, relying strongly on our partner network. The leads in all the countries are growing exponentially. We, we have a lot of people, a lot of companies interested in Odoo. Um, and that means that um, the software, the implementations also have to happen. And the way we can do that is not by opening Odoo offices all around the world, I mean in every country, but by being present locally, by working with uh, local partners. Now how we do that is we offer services to, to the partners where we uh, train them where we uh, help them with an implementation um, as well as we propose them our value proposition and then the partner will sell the Odoo, sell the Odoo applications implement the Odoo applications and also provide services to um, to the customer now from the perspective of the client uh, the client will be paying for various things the client will pay for the licenses of Odoo, meaning the, the applications and the users they take. They pay that directly to Odoo. Then they will also be paying the uh, partner as well for the services they provide, meaning it can be implementation, it can be training, it can be the deployment, uh, whatever service you usually provide. And that will be, uh, the sum of that will be the total cost of um, the entire system, the entire database for the customer. Now, what is the actual business opportunity for uh, partners? A partner can take various roles. Like I said before, they can take care of the implementation. But more specifically, they can start with doing an analysis, a gap analysis, for example, where they analyze uh, the business where they are um, working with. Um, and then they will try to meet the uh, requirements of these companies uh, with what we have in Odoo. Um, furthermore, the partner can take care of the hosting if that's needed for the customer. They will take care of the deployment, uh, maybe some custom development, customizations, as well as configuration of the system. So that's, that's very important to know because these roles is where your main revenue will come from. You can charge the customer for these services you provide. And it's very important to, to understand. Now, there are two ways to sell Odoo. And those ways depend on the way you are hosting the database of the customer. The customer can be hosted on Odoo SH, it can be hosted on Odoo SaaS or on-premise. Now, it's important to understand the needs of the customer to really determine where uh, or how they should be ho hosted. When you go for an Odoo SH implementation, it's usually when companies need a lot of custom development, but they are agreeing with the fact that they are hosted on the cloud. And then it's really interesting for a partner um, to offer Odoo SH. Uh, because it, it's a very efficient and effective way to do custom development in the cloud, test those developments with a staging environment, and then push those developments to a production environment of the customer. And it can go very efficiently, very effectively. Um, so an implementation in time will take uh, way less than when you do, for example, an on-premise installation with a lot of custom development as well. And then you have the SaaS, the cloud. That's mainly for customers that um, are fine with out-of-the-box installation of Odoo. They don't, they don't need custom development. For the customer, it might be uh, cost-effective. Uh, and also, the implementation time is, is way lower uh, when you do uh, in comparison to an on-premise installation. But the downside is that the partner cannot do custom development. But then again, uh, you have the option of Odoo SH where uh, the customer can still be hosted on the cloud and where you can do custom development. And then you have on-premise. Some type of customers require to be hosted on, uh, on premise, uh, and that's fine. Um, the partner will be able to do custom development. It might take a longer time, 
it may be uh, less cost effective because the customer will also have to pay for uh, a server, will have to pay for maintenance and uh, things like that. Now what is the, maybe the most interesting part for uh, potential partners? The revenue provision. Like I said before, you will have 100% uh, commission, not, I wouldn't call it commission, but I would say uh, revenue from the services you provide. So you charge the client and you decide whatever you, you want to charge. We don't have any rules, any conditions about that. And then additionally, you will get, uh, depending on, on what edition you sell, a commission um, on the sales you make. So when a client signs up for a subscription, either on, uh, on premise or uh, on the cloud or SH, you will get a commission on that uh, subscription. And it counts for every renewal and also for every um, what we call an upsell or every additional user or application that is added to the subscription. And that lasts, lasts for as long as the client renews uh, and stays with you uh, as an integrating partner. Now the, um, the range of commission depends on the level of partner you are. Uh, so it can range from 10 to 20 percent. Uh, 20 percent is for the gold partners. And then you also have uh, when the client is hosted on ODSH an extra commission uh, because the client will be, pasting will be paying additional hosting fees to Odoo for being hosted on ODSH, but the partner gets 100% commission on these hosting fees, up to 180 US dollars and uh, 150 euros per month. Now, the partner benefits, uh, there are various partner benefits, I will not discuss them all, but I will highlight a few. Uh, for example, the dedicated account manager. That's basically a point of contact at the company, at Odoo, that you can reach out to every week, every month, or whenever you have an issue. That person will assist you, will guide you, will help you uh, commercially. Um, he, will also, he or she will also assign you leads based on your uh, location or your uh, skill set or your industry that you focus on. Then, uh, like, like I said before, you have the partner commissions, the promotion on Odoo.com, meaning if you go to the Odoo website or if potential customers go to the Odoo website and they say, I want to work with a partner, they can go to the partner list, they see all the partners in uh, the spe specific country that they are in, and then they can choose out of these partners uh, with the logo is there, the information of the company is there, uh, a, a small description as well. And maybe one of the uh, most interesting things uh, that we launched recently is the fact that you get a discount on your internal subscription. That means that um, if you want to use Odoo yourself in your business as a production database, you are, you are entitled to um, a discount on your internal subscription. That is regardless of, uh, of course, the demo databases that you can make. Um, that you don't have to pay for those, of course. You also have access to the source code, so the enterprise source code will be available to you uh, and you will be able to customize it, to configure it uh, to the needs of your uh, clients. You have the possibility to have extended trials, meaning uh, you can download and install the Odoo Enterprise version on your server. It will be valid for 15 days, but you can extend those databases with your own partner code um, every single time you, you need it. Then you have access to the knowledge base, which is basically an e-learning platform where you find videos and content about um, how to sell Odoo, how to do proper implementation, uh, as well as some marketing tools and some resources are, are available for you there as well. So becoming, sorry, becoming a partner. We have different levels of partnership. So I'm going to start by telling you the ready, silver, and gold, and then we'll come to the learning. So as a ready partner, in order to renew, you have to sell a minimum of 10 users uh, within the uh, new users within the year, and you have to have at least one person certified in your company. So the certification is based on functional questions from the e-learning platform. You also get visibility uh, on the website, uh, this logo here, and you'll have the right to use the OD trademark wherever you like as well. So, as Charles mentioned, you get 100% commission on SH up to 180 US or 150 euros. And for every contract or license you sell, you get 10% commission. And as a silver partner, you need to sell a minimum of 50 new users within the year 
and have two certified uh, employees in your company and have a retention rate of 70%. As a silver partner, you have this logo here, which is obviously a higher status and can maybe generate more leads from you from the website. Um, again, you have the right to use the Odoo trademark and you get 100% commission, again, up to 180 US or 150 euros and 15% commission for every uh, contract you sell with licenses. And gold is the highest level you can reach. Here you, can, you need to have a minimum of 150 users to get there and have three people certified in your company uh, with a retention rate of 80%. And obviously you can have the gold uh, partner logo which um, will look really good uh, on the website and generate more leads to go in your direction because it shows that you have um, experience with Odoo and you've successfully implemented projects before. So as a gold partner, uh, you can get up to 20% commission. So the idea is the more you sell, um, the more re uh, higher retention you have, the, the more you can get back from us as well. We also have a learning partnership, which was designed for people who are not as confident with Odoo. It's more like a stepping stone until you're ready to become an official. You can upgrade at any time. And here we give you the tools to basically learn the software and get familiar. Um, you won't be visible on our website as a learning partner because, like I said, the primary goal is, is to really educate yourself with the, with the system. Um, but you will have the right to use the Odoo trademark. And as a learning partner, you get 10% commission for every contract you sell. And for SH hosting fee, you can get 10% as well. We also have something called a roadshow, which uh, is a way to basically promote yourself and Odoo in your country. So in 2019, we've so far done 261 events worldwide. And we've had, as Fabian said this morning in the keynote, uh, more than 100,000 reserved seats so far. So, um, so it's been pretty successful for us. The idea is to generate leads for the partner and communicate with other partners who are hosting as well and share your experiences. You can uh, present case studies, show your strengths, generate, oh, sorry, generate leads, I said, and uh, basically have fun. It's a way to network and just promote yourself. And we also have something called a partner success pack, which is a way for you to get some functional and technical support. So the idea is you can buy hours of an uh, expert consultant's time and you can gather all your questions for your first few projects and they'll use timesheets to deduct the hours they spend helping you uh, answer your questions. So with a success pack, uh, I mean, we can help you do things like gap analysis, code reviews, uh, even functional support if you need, like giving demos. Um, so we really promote it uh, for new partners just as a way to make sure you s uh, sell your first project successfully and do it the right way rather than have problems from the beginning. So five common mistakes made by partners. So the first mistake usually made by partners is they're too dependent on leads from Odoo. We try to promote um, partners to be as active as possible. And by being as active as possible, uh, they can grow faster. Um, we want you to be more independent. And leads that we pass to you are, should be considered like a bonus you know, uh, to try and help you uh, reach your KPIs. But Overall, um, it's really important that a partner you know, stays active and, and really keeps that hunting mindset. So the second mistake is not having a good relationship with your AM. Um, it is your AM's job to basically make sure you know how to uh, treat leads properly, get leads, give a good demo. Um, they're meant to be your direct point of contact in the company and your best friend. So you should be working together as a team with them to really ensure that the probability of closing the deal is higher rather than you just go off by yourself and you know, p uh, potentially lose a deal because you may not have done a demo properly or, or you may not have qualified the lead properly. So uh, it's really important that um, you should work as a team with the AM really early on in the, in the project rather than you know, bring them in later where it could be too late. The third issue is neglecting the power of a good demonstration. So with our methodology, we think the key is giving a really good demo to closing a deal, well, part of the key. Um, a lot of partners who are unsuccessful will just present Odoo using slides in a presentation, which from experience, it doesn't work as well. 
So it's a really good idea to, um, again, work with your AM, maybe give a demo to them, get some tips and tricks uh, on how to improve. And we also have some tips in our partnership knowledge base, uh, which would be good to look at. Um, basically, you want to set a really high expectation for your customer when you give a demo to them uh, yeah, to help you at least get shortlisted or close the deal. Uh, the next mistake is um, a lot of partners think they could just do a first project completely on their own. So I had a partner before who uh, didn't want our help or didn't work with AM, and he went to um, basically close his project, uh, sign, it, sign his deal, and it turned out that he made a lot of mistakes and the customer was not happy, and in the end he ended up buying a success pack from us and we were able to save the deal and, and keep the customer happy. So we try to avoid this. We want you to um, close the deal properly from like the very beginning, and it's really encouraged to get a success pack so we can just uh, show you the best implementation methodology and how it should be done uh, so you get it right from the first time. And the Big Bang approach. Um, we usually try to encourage not just going for the biggest project with all the modules and, uh, that you can find. It's better to sometimes start, keep it simple, start small, have maybe a few modules, and the idea is the system will grow in time with the company. So it takes two seconds to just add a module and, and uh, increase it. So it's good to sometimes uh, have more of an upselling approach rather than do everything at once. That's it. Thank you. So, uh, uh, the next talk is about the implementation methodology. So if you want to stay for that, it's going to be pretty good. You have a question? Uh, you mean, which maintenance fees do you mean in what sense? Was on the slides, or I don't think we. Okay. Uh, uh, so you mean, like, for example, if you're a partner and you've done development and you want to upgrade the system. Uh, you're asking about the service where we can help you like do the codes to upgrade the KPI? Is that what you're talking about? There, okay. there can be different kinds of maintenance fees. Yeah. That's why I'm, we are a bit confused. Uh, but when you, for example, um, want to migrate a database uh, with custom development and uh, you want us to migrate it, you want us to migrate the custom develop, uh, developed apps, we can do that for you. We will charge you, um, I think it's a thousand euros or US dollars per a thousand lines yeah. of code. But we can do it for you. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Party, yeah. Kind of no, not really. Yeah. There's not much to not do, to with, do uh, with partners. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. Maybe we can we can talk to uh, somebody else here who is responsible for the for the app store. That might be better then. Are there any other questions? It depends, of course. Uh, sometimes we have, I mean, you see that we are growing a lot. We have new people. They have to be trained. Um, but indeed, I mean, we, we guarantee that the people that you are working with are usually experienced already enough to be uh, taking care of a project, of course. Mm. 
Yeah, of course. But in that case, I don't know the specific uh, project that you're talking about. But in that case, it's really important that we that we qualify the project before we know exactly what you will need, and then we can assign the right person to that to that project. Uh, I don't know if what was the case in in in, in your um, project, but I can assure that normally we assign the right person for the right project. Maybe not people that are, um, it's not an, maybe an exact structure, but there are always people that have experience with a certain project from before. And then the people, if they are free, they are assigned to the, to the similar project. That, that's how it works uh, usually. Okay. Um, there's also a new evangelist program, which might be more what you're looking for. So if you want, we can talk about it on the side, so we have to stop now. So.